What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the uh, cool, amazing, epic YouTube channel. Uh, I am most certainly the host of the show slash episode, so on and so forth. Uh, this is actually the second episode of the day. Second episode of the day. Uh, the first one was, of course, our mini-series, uh, Ripped Off or Not. Uh, this one is going to be the more or less random one. Um, you know, I thought to myself, and lo and behold, what the heck type of content can we come up with so we can uh, basically, you know, uh, give it up for you guys and uh, not really, but, uh, you know, maybe come up with a cool episode and so on and so forth. This right here, guys, is basically going to be the tips and tricks for picking up women and dating. Now, this is going to be probably more uh, for uh, picking up women. Uh, and, you know, that's basically what we're going to be talking about today. You know, a lot of us guys probably uh, want to talk about, you know, how uh, we can pick up women, uh, you know, so on and so forth and dating. You know, here are some tips and tricks for picking up women uh, slash dating. Uh, and without further ado, this is what we're going to do. Uh, compliment your women, guys. Uh, tips and tricks. Number one, compliment uh, your women. I cannot say this enough because let me tell you, if you don't compliment your women and make them feel special in the, the right way, uh, another Joe will. And that's for sure. Uh, nonetheless, compliment your women, guys. Uh, like, you know, i.e., oh, wow, you smell amazing. Uh, you look so nice in that outfit. Uh, you look so, uh, so on and so forth. Compliment your women, guys. Compliment your women because I'm telling you, you would rather compliment your women than someone else complimenting uh, your women, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. I didn't feel the uh, confidence on that one, guys. You like the mug? It doesn't matter. Now, be warned. Be warned if you get a girl that looks like a runaway horse uh, and compliment them, you might get a stalker. You might get a full-blown uh, stalker. Now... Some guys are okay with having stalkers, you know, they're like, you know what, buddy, I got this girl, she's stalking me, and, and so on and so forth. Some people like that. Some people, you know, they feel like, it's like, man, I got this stalker. Some people don't want to uh, mess with that, and uh, for, for the most part, you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't want to mess with that because, let me tell you, a stalker is bad news. Uh, you know, especially if you want to live a quote unquote uh, normal type life, the stalker just does not flip and work. It's fun, but let me tell you, it's probably not the way to go. Uh, so, number one, compliment your women, guys. Compliment your women, or somebody else will. Uh, now, be warned if you get a girl that quote unquote looks like a runaway horse and you compliment them, you might get a stalker. And if if you do it, uh, you know, the right way, and she's, you know, crazy enough, you might get a stalker for life, which means it's uh, going to be a little bit longer than the prior expected. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so on and so forth. la di da di da yeah, if you're not the best at quote unquote <clears throat> picking up women, like uh, you know, you're you're in a everyday scene. Uh, like let's say you're you know you're at the mall, you know you're you're shopping, you're you're with your boys, you're with your uh, you know girls, so on and so forth, and you're like, oh wow, so on and so forth. You know when you holler and you you talk to the chicks and you pick up the chicks. Now if you're not good at that. You can always revert back and basically go to this uh, on-hand thing. Uh, offer the women food. 
I know. It's like one of those dirty tricks, like, you know, getting punched in the, uh, in the ball sack or, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I know it's probably not one of the most, you know, amazing things to do, especially when you're trying to like, you know, give off, uh, the whole quote unquote alpha male type thing. Some people are like, you know, I'm the alpha male. And some people just aren't really about that. Now, if you're not really about that and so on and so forth, kudos to you, buddy, because you're probably, uh, you know, an alpha male in your own right. Anyways, but nonetheless, um, offer them food. It's like, you know, offer them food. Hey, would you like to grab something to eat? Uh, you know, and a lot of times you might be able to get a date just by offering them uh, some food. And that's kind of where, you know, you probably want to uh, be at, you know, where you probably want to be at a little more time with your special lady friend so it can turn into something more and more and more and more. Right, guys? Exactly. Offer your your uh, your women food like, hey, would you like to grab something to eat? Uh, this works fairly well with skinny girls or pleasantly plump ones. Or you might get one of those animalistic type savage beasts uh, that, you know, are just, you know, ravish, ravaging and, and scouring the earth for food. You can probably feed one of these savage beasts and probably get a date. And, you know, that would probably be pretty fun, right, guys? Exactly. Exactly. So chances are, if you can drop some money for food, uh, your chances of getting a date have skyrocketed, uh, you know, exponentially. Exponentially skyrocketed. Uh, now, guys, this isn't really for the tips and tricks for picking up women. This is more or less for uh, the dating type thing, the dating type zone, the dreaded uh, friend zone. Now, guys, uh, you, you can either play this out and be like Michelangelo or, you know, some sort of like amazing artiste. Uh, if you can do it right in the friend zone type thing, or you will turn into uh, the, um, all right, let's PG rated, the uh, picture uh, that they were, you know, trying to paint, okay? Now, it's, it's kind of one of those things, but guys, uh, probably more times than none, don't get stuck in the friend zone. If you have to be 100% mean to these girls so that they can get the point, you probably have to do that. Because, buddy, let me tell you something. That For what I heard, the friend zone is probably not the way to go. I am telling you what is just not working. Absolutely not working. Don't get into the friend's zone. Because it is, it is most certainly uh, not the way to go. Unless you are an experienced user. And I do mean experienced user. You have to be like, you know, some sort of like uh, computer uh, wizard uh, slash, you know, amazing uh, developer to, uh, you know, get that uh, right. Uh, the whole friend zone thing. Because if you don't, buddy... That's a game over, buddy. And, you know, after that, it's like, uh, do you know that kid? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, you know, let's just say him and Becky Sue, well, he was, uh, you know, on the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't be that guy, guys. Don't be that guy. Anyways, uh, moving on. The old saying, you have to look the part. You have to look the part, guys. Guys, if you want to go pick up the chick, you have to look the part. You have to look, you know, like you are dateable. You know what I mean? You have to look like you are like, okay, buddy, this guy is going somewhere. He is trying to do things with his life. 
Uh, he is trying to uh, take over the world, so on and so forth. You have to look the part. If you look like a scraggly old uh, rat turd uh, coming to say what's up to this fine looking uh, woman, et cetera, et cetera, you know, maybe you can pull it off because, you know, we're really that crazy these days. And we might think, you know, a, a bona fide rat turd uh, might be, you know, up to par. But, buddy, I'm telling you, for yourself, for your family's sake, for your friend's sake, and also those poor, stupid little women that you're trying to pick up, you have to look the part, buddy. Look the part, guys. Look the part. You have to dress and you have to look like you are dateable uh, material because uh, most girls that are worth a flip, uh, you know, when you come out looking like like a disheveled rat turd, chances are they're probably not going to mess with you, uh, buddy. I'm telling you. It's, and, and I don't know uh, the inner sanctimonium uh, psyche of the woman, women, so on and so forth, but chances are just have a, a split inclination of, uh, you know, probably what the heck, uh, you know, they might be, be thinking. And a girl or a woman or a lady that's probably, you know, worth a, a date, I'm talking about a legitimate date, uh, would probably not want to mess with a runaway uh, rat turd. I could be wrong, though. So shout outs to the runaway rat turds. Anyway. Coming up next, confidence, guys. Confidence. Confidence. Be confident in what you do. You have to exuberate uh, and reek of confidence. Now, there's a fine line between confidence and completely over uh, being confident. Now, you know, I will leave that into your, you know, discretion, but buddy, let me tell you something. You have to be confident, not, uh, you know, just for, you know, your your little uh, pickup skills. Be confident because uh, you feel like you are the man, buddy. I mean, you know, you be confident in what you do. Confidence. Uh, if you walk in a room, uh, people should be like, you know what? That guy, he seems to be 100 percent confident in what he does. Be confident, guys. Be confident in the women or woman will take note. Be confident. Be confident. Do manly things, guys. Do manly things. Go chop down a tree. Uh, you know, go, go do some heroic stuff. Do manly things. Uh, you know, I don't know what the heck is up with, with the uh, with the so on and so forth of, of today's day and age. But guys, you know, men need to do menly things. And I'm not going to get into that type of thing because we're pushing 13 plus minutes in. And this is supposed to be a tips and tricks for picking up women. But guys, women will appreciate uh, you doing manly things. Manly things, guys. Do manly things. And women will take note, and you will probably have a higher chance of picking up women and dating them if they know that you do manly things. Manly, heroic things. Right, guys? All right. Nobody in their right minds want a, wants a weak boyfriend. Nobody in their minds, uh, in their right minds, wants a weak boyfriend, right? The women. Women don't want a weak boyfriend. They want a strong alpha male that can take care of things, that's confident in what they do. They don't want uh, rat turds, right? They might want rat turds, guys. My Guys, they might want red turds after all. <sighs> last but not least, guys, last but not least, be yourself. Now, buddy, uh, this can go, uh, you know, two ways. 
either you are amazing either way or uh, you're horrific and you might have to tweak some things. But, buddy, let me tell you something. It's probably better to be yourself uh, than to come up with some sort of front. And uh, long story short, you just conk out and everybody finds out that you're a big douche. So, you know, long story short, be yourself and you won't have to come up with like, you know, some sort of like everyday, you know, thing of like, oh, let's do this so I can fake this and this, that and the other. Be yourself, be a confident individual and uh, women will take notice and, uh, you know, it will it'll speak for itself, guys. It will speak for itself. That's all you have to do. Quick recap, guys. Compliment your women. Compliment your women. You know, make them feel special. Make them feel uh, beautiful and attractive and so on and so forth. Compliment your women. Uh, now, if you have a runaway horse, by all means, unless you want that type of stuff in your life and a possible stalker, um, don't compliment the runaway horses all too much. Because they can get pretty bad, uh, worse than pigs uh, coming to the uh, slop to eat, uh, you know. If you're not the best at quote-unquote picking up women, offer them food. Uh, like they're, uh, you know, grazing cattle. Uh, offer them some sort of, of food. And, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, give or take, you know, they might, uh, you know, be opting uh, to the idea of, you know, a date with, with you know, food involved. Uh, the dreaded friend zone. Guys, do not get in that dreaded friend zone because it is most certainly a doozy. Uh, you have to look the part. Look the part uh, for, you know, your upcoming dates, guys. You don't want to look like a straggly, uh, runaway, uh, rat turd if you're trying to pick up, you know, a, a sophisticated woman. You are trying to look the part, so you have to look confident and, uh, professional. And that's all you have to do. That is it. You know, if you can't do that, well, I mean, you know, there's always another thing to do. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Please don't, don't put that on me. <laughs> Look the part, guys. Be confident in what you do, uh, you know, and, and have the confidence in, in what you do. Do manly things, guys. Nobody wants a weak boyfriend. Uh, that, that can't do anything because you have to be able uh, to uh, protect yourself and protect your your uh, your your uh, friends, your family, your 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 lady friends, your girlfriends, so on and so forth. Uh, you have to you know be a strong uh, alpha type uh, male. Now you know kudos to the guys that aren't you know all about that you know overly testosterone uh infused alpha male type thing buddy we get that and we understand wh wh what you mean but uh you know you have to have some sort of you know um dignity and and self-respect you know because i mean it's just it's just ridiculous and last but not least be yourself guys be yourself if the chick likes you buddy and you are yourself that is probably one of the best things uh, that can possibly happen because you were not faking anything, uh, you know, so on and so forth is coming natural. And lo and behold, you don't have to, you know, uh, live in some sort of like make believe uh, fantasy world of a lie. Be yourself and, and things will just uh, work out the way they uh, will work out as, you know, and, you know, crazy enough, guys. Uh, it might work out for the best. But anyways, if you have any tips or tricks for uh, picking up women and or dating, maybe you can let us know in the comments below of your tips and tricks of, of how to, uh, you know, go about, uh, you know, picking up women and dating. But that's basically about it, guys. Um, not too much of a, of a, 
you know, long, long haul of, of uh, tips and tricks. But uh, nonetheless, you know, that's kind of that's kind of what it is. You know, it's, it's information that needs to be known. It's information that needs to be uh, talked about. And it's useful information for probably a lot of people out there. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, until next time, you know, please take care of yourselves. Please take care of your women, uh, you know, or, you know, you know, someone else might will, guys. I mean, you know, it's really it's really that uh, that simple. But, um, yeah, we have a couple of things coming up. Uh, we have a, um, a cologne review coming up probably in the next week or two. Uh, if you guys want to collaborate or, you know, give me some sh sort of uh, shout outs for a new episode, so on and so forth, let us know in the comments below. Uh, you know, we have that. We have packages coming through. Uh, rare cards coming through, so on and so forth. We just got a... Uh, 32 gigabyte card for the uh, action cam. So maybe we can go harass some un unsuspecting um, people on the uh, on the ground. Uh, but yeah, that's basically about it. I think we're going to be having a pretty big uh, uh, epic show in the, uh, the very near future. Oh, please uh, like, subscribe, unsubscribe, dislike, comment, so on and so forth. Don't be stingy on the on the uh, subscriptions, guys. Come on. I need to make a million dollars off of you kids. I mean, seriously, stop being a Scrooge and give up some of that loot. Anyways, until next time, uh, you know the drill. Love, peace, and please quit spreading that disgusting disease. Adios, guys.